Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Evita and on my channel I just post random crap you guys. But in today's video, I am going to be reading emails that were sent to me by ex Jehovah Witnesses, people that are trying to get to close to someone that they're dating as Jehovah Witnesses and I don't think it's anyone that it was an extra or that's still in the Jehovah Witness religion. But I'm just going to say like initials of who they're from. So this one is from H and it says, Aloha sis. Wow. Can I say how shocked I've been in recent months to find people who are exposing the JW cult. I was two when my mom became a JW disfellowshipped at 24 after a marriage to a brother who was abusive. I committed adultery and was DF. My life was crazy, stunted, as you can relate. We were abused. Abused. Please reach out if you ever want to share stories. LOL. I was baptized at 19. They forced that too. And then they leave their phone number for me to text them. Or on Facebook. At, and they get their name. My mom's still a witness and feels sorry for herself that I left. It's abuse. Glad you stopped drinking the Kool-Aid. All right. So... Number one, I'm sorry that your ex-husband was abusive. And I noticed that a lot of people commit adultery so they can get out of a marriage. Because that's in the religion's eyes, that's the only way that you can be free. Like, someone has to commit adultery in order for that other person to be free. So, let me know if you want to re-email me and let me know, is that, is that what happened? And also, your mother, is she trying to get out? But I'm not sure what you meant by uh, she feels sorry for herself. Is she sorry that you left? And like, does she feel like she failed you with the religion? Or is she wanting to get out as well, but she's afraid to leave? I really want to know about that too. All right. And I'm looking at my phone, you guys. My husband did suggest that I um, print them, but... That's going to take too long. <laughs> so give me a second while I find the next one. So the next email is from CJ. Hello, I've watched many of your videos. We have so much in common. I am now 64 and a half years old. I always hoped my two sisters and brother would wake up. My mother was also treated horribly. I hope you can find a way to heal after being in this abusive religious cult. I hope today you are having a good day. Sincerely, CJ. All right, CJ, now he went on to say something else. So he sent another email in addition to that first one about his mother. So he said, by the way, about my mother, she was disfellowshipped because she mentioned Jesus Christ too much, but her son told her that she could not attend his wedding. She was so hurt. Okay, so that's another thing that makes me so angry about the Jehovah Je Witness religion. If they go against, if you go against anything they say, they want to like basically shun you. And if, for them to just disfellowship her because she mentions Jesus Christ too much. Or if you just like ask too many questions, they are programmed to say certain responses. So if you go off their script and they don't have a response, they're basically going to attack you. But for your brother, I'm assuming that it's your brother. For your brother not to invite his own mother to his wedding, it, it just shows how badly they brainwash people like that how do you figure that's right you only get married once you only have a mother once like i don't know i just i'm just happy i'm out that's all i'm gonna say because sheesh all right and i have one last email this is from k so she sent se or i'm a, yeah she sent several emails and i read them read them so hello saw your video on youtube I'm going through a little something with my non-baptized Jehovah's Witness boyfriend. He was born in, in it. Here's the story. Met him 18 years ago. We started dating for some months. Then he went to prison, got out, went back in. We stayed in contact for many years, then drifted off. We started back dating again four months ago. He is through with the world system and devoted his life back to Jehovah again. Well, he is on a monitor for a year, parole, and his mother started stated that he can't talk to me anymore. He's 38 and I'm 45. So we still continued to talk, m met and seen him a few times. We've never slept with each other. I'm Hebrew, it's the light. So according to, I don't know if it, well, it is. 
okay it's i don't know if it's it's the light or if it's say israelite but she put it's the light so i'm not, i don't know i have to look that up i'm sorry i'm ignorant so i'm a hebrew it's the light so according to the bible i no longer commit fornication but we do know we want to be get married he told his mom and the elders that he wanted to marry me. They told him no and not to talk to me. We still continued to talk and the mother found out again and he called and called me saying if he didn't stop talking to me, she would cut him off and throw him out the house. He said that he loves me, but he is in her house and on a monitor and wouldn't have anywhere to go. It's been very heartbreaking because we always liked each other and were meant for each other. Right? He says, I think she said right now, he says, He's saving up money to move out. Do we stand a chance or should I let this go based on all these stories? I'm reading. I don't stand a chance. I told him he is in a cult and they're evil people to do this to us. I'm confused but don't want to wait if it won't be. If it won't. Wait a minute. I'm confused but don't want to wait if it will be no change. Okay, and then she sent another email. I'm skimming through them. She said, also still talking to him. He said he has to live a double life until he gets off the monitor in March. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, this one. This is a very heartbreaking story because he's 38, you're 45. Why does he still have to, like, get the okay from his mother or from the elders? I find that very bizarre, like... You both are grown. He knows what he wants. You know what you want. Why are they trying to step between the two of you? Because you don't share the same religion. I say if he's willing, just tell him to cut his mother off. Leave that cult. He's not He's not baptized, but they're still trying to control him. I say just leave. Tell him to leave. You guys need to run away together and live happily ever after. I can't believe... I couldn't imagine my... If my parents were still alive, I could not imagine my mother having an influence on my life. 38 years old. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine it. I just be like, okay, I'll take that in consideration. And with no disrespect to my mother, but I'm not going to live her life. This is my life. I have to live my own life. I can't live the life that she wanted for me, that she saw in her head for me. That's the same for his mother, but they're so brainwashed that it's ridiculous. And they're, whatever the elders say is, is gold. It's like, it ain't even gold. It's platinum. Like, whatever they say is, it's right. Whatever they do, it's it's okay. But, ah, no, you guys need to have, a, like, a serious talk with each other. You need to ask him, are you going to be with me? Or are you going to continue to be within this religion and basically go about what your mother and the elders tell you to do? Like, I don't know. You guys need to have a really heart-to-heart -heart conversation with each other and see where it goes from there if he gives you the right responses i say you guys need to move forward but he doesn't like come off as trying to be with you or whatever and i say you need to move on i hate 18 years is a long time to know somebody and to have fallen in love with somebody but you it can't be one-sided it just can't be one-sided anyways you guys those are all of the emails i have received that i saw i have to get on my laptop <laughs> But if you did email me, let me know in the comments down below or just re-email me. My email address is always in my description. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right along with that notification bell. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye.